Hi and welcome to a simple freehand lesson where I plan to create a daisy design. I'm not using any art as a template, just a simple daisy design that I can imagine. Because there is no artwork to follow, it is important to understand the size of the objects that are being created. I use the grid to help me estimate the size of each object. But you will see it's possible to resize and automatically adjust the stitch count at any time to get perfect results. I plan to use the closed shape tool for the petal and the circle tool for the center of the flower. First, select the tool and begin with two left mouse clicks along the bottom of the petal. Move up and out and left click once again. Across to the left and up and right click and further to the left and down to create the top of the curve. Now hit the enter to complete the shape and fill with stitches. Now the flower center. Select the circle tool, left click to establish the center point and drag and click again to establish the radius of the circle and hit enter. Now select the center piece and change the color and if required, reduce the size of the object by selecting one corner node and dragging in. Now select both objects by dragging a box around them with my select tool and changing the fill type to satin by selecting satin in the fills tab in your object property box. I now wish to resize the petal. Select it and click and drag one corner as before. Notice the auto split stitches disappear as the column of stitching becomes narrower. I'm not happy with the angle of the stitching so selecting the reshape tool will display the angle tool to make it easy to change on screen. A final tweak of the size and shape and I am happy with the first petal. Ok, so the next step will be to create the flower head by rotating and repeating the single petal. Move to the layout option and select the circle layout tool. You will notice the context toolbar will change at the top of your work area to allow you to select how many petals you wish to create. Now drag your mouse to the position where you want the petals to sit, allow a slight overlap and left click to create the flower head. You will be asked if you want to merge the petals. Answer no. We want all the petals to maintain their stitch angles and character. We may even want to change the color of individual petals later. Now drag the center on top of the petals. If you prefer to stitch the center first, then in the resequencing toolbar, drag and drop the color. You can see you do have the option to drag color blocks or individual objects. For the fun of it, let's add some color to the petals. Select each petal and change its color in turn. Or, if you want to change more than one petal to the same color, hold the control key while selecting each petal and choose the new color. Now to make all objects of the same color stitch at the same time, either drag and drop in the resequence list, or in more complicated designs, you might like to try moving to the edit menu and while holding the control key, select the objects in the order in which you wish them to stitch and select the resequence by selected order button. A quick redraw will simulate the stitching process to confirm the color sequence. In the next video, I will add some stems and some leaves. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you check out our other videos for more hatch tips and tricks or tutorials.